Hi, I'm Mickey Gousset. Welcome to this video on changing some settings for our YAML pipeline. In this video, we are going to look at some of the settings for your YAML pipeline that you can control via the Azure DevOps portal, aka the GUI. This includes pipeline name, pipeline variables, and pipeline triggers. While you can do most everything in the YAML file directly, there are some things you can use the GUI for as well. For example, you can't control the name of the YAML pipeline from the YAML file. Instead, the name defaults to the name of the team project. In order to change the actual name, you need to change the name in the GUI. Variables and triggers, on the other hand, can be set either directly in the YAML file or using the GUI. Let's go look at some of the ways we can use the GUI to modify our YAML pipelines. Here we are in our YAML pipeline from earlier. If we click the ellipse and select triggers, we are taken into the GUI. On the Triggers tab, we have the option to override the trigger settings in YAML for continuous integration. We also have the capability to set the trigger to be a scheduled pipeline so that it will run at a specific time. To change the name of the pipeline, simply select the name and change it. Let's change the name to My YAML Pipeline. Finally, if we select Variables, we have the ability to add variables here that can be used by the pipeline. You can also add variables directly into the YAML file. We will dive into variables in more detail in a later video. For now, let's add a variable here and reference it in the YAML file. To do this, we'll click Add. We'll provide the variable a name. We'll call this My First Variable. We need to give it a default value. So we'll just give this My Default Value. You'll notice that variables can be made secrets so that we can hide the value that you've set the variable to so no one can see it in the interface. And we can also check this box to allow you to set the value for the variable when you execute the build. So let's save our changes. We'll click Save. And our comment will be changed pipeline name and added a variable. And we'll click Save. If I go back to Pipelines, I can see that my pipeline name has changed to My YAML Pipeline. And if I go in to edit the pipeline, let's modify this to use the variable we just created. We'll come down to the script step. And instead of saying echo hello world, we're going to echo out our variable. To do this, we say dollar sign parentheses and then the variable name, my first variable, close parentheses. When we run this pipeline, it should now echo out the value of this variable. So let's save our changes. Let's change our commit message to be added variable to the echo statement. And let's click Save. And now let's run. And you'll notice the variable is listed here, and I can change the value before we do the run. But in this case, I will leave it to be the default value. And I'm going to click Run. So here we are at the summary page of the run. Currently, we're waiting for the job to be queued. So we'll watch this in real time because it shouldn't take that long. You can see the job has been, queued, has been queued up. So now it's going to start running. It's going to initialize the job, run our two scripts, and then give us the appropriate 
results. Boom, job ran. And if we go to the one line script, we can see that it did echo out the default value that was in the variable. In this video, we looked at some of the settings for your YAML pipeline that you can control via the Azure DevOps portal, aka the GUI. This included pipeline name, pipeline variables, and pipeline triggers. Thanks for watching.